First, let's talk about timers. A timer is a peripheral device in a microcontroller designed to track and measure the passage of time. It's like a stopwatch inside your microcontroller. The main purpose of a timer is to create delays or wait periods before sending a signal further. These delays are calculated based on the frequency of the internal system clock. Timers are crucial when you need to perform tasks at specific intervals like blinking an LED, controlling a motor speed, or generating PWM signals. When a timer reaches a set value, it can trigger an interrupt, allowing the microcontroller to execute a particular task precisely when needed. Now, let's move on to counters. While timers measure time, counters are designed to count external events. They measure the frequency of pulses from outside sources like motors or encoders. Counters operate on pulse width modulation, where they measure how wide the incoming external pulses are. Based on these measurements, counters can generate a control signal. This functionality is vital in applications where you need to count occurrences or measure the speed of events, such as tracking the number of objects passing a sensor or measuring the rotation speed of a motor. So what's the key difference between timers and counters? Timers use the microcontroller's internal clock to measure time intervals, while counters rely on external signals to count events. Both are powerful tools that offer unique functionality, enabling you to fine-tune the behavior of your microcontroller. For instance, timers are perfect for generating accurate time delays, while counters excel at measuring the frequency of external events, making them indispensable in applications involving motors, sensors, or encoders. In summary, both timers and counters are fundamental peripherals in microcontrollers that provide precise control over time and event management. By mastering these tools, you can unlock a wide range of possibilities in embedded system design. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on embedded systems and microcontroller programming.